Fox and Folix, and we're going to look at the Mimi design options and the pattern in much detail. And finally, we're going to have a sneak peek at the instructions and look at what videos you've got for this. If you want to make this dress with heavier fabrics, such as corduroy, denim or chino, that really lends itself to appliques. And the original applique on it was the baby bird one, and that is still available with a pattern that comes with it. So it's all there for you and it's very, very cute. And on the right hand side, you can see what a customer did. And I thought that was brilliant. Anyway, you can also use lighter weight cottons such as quilting cottons and they come in all sorts of prints and colors. They're much easier to work with and here an example from Michael Miller's Gnome where, where you just use a border fabric that also works really well. You don't need the pockets or anything. That's very simple. Your options for the design are either the pocket on the side that's inserted or the mimi pocket and it's also fully lined and then we'll close it with two buttons at the top or poppers of course then you can put a scallop in at the top as well and i'm going to show you how to do that or alternatively you could do some really groovy color blocking or fabric blocking like i've done here just to set a contrast and here is the dress in one. Now let's have a look at it. You can see how that's a really nice pocket to get your little hands in. It sits a little bit lower than it does on this uh, dress because that was my first sample and I've actually put them a bit lower so the stripe doesn't end where the top pocket ends. And the fabric I'm using here is a Riley Blake fabric and a Michael Miller lining. And then I'm using a fabric from Miss Tilsa in the center strip here. And that's called Whatever the Weather and it's Flowers in Bloom. It's fantastic. All the links are underneath the video. So you can just go there and click on it. And this is what the pattern looks like when you've printed it off. You've got lots of little pieces on there. And they have got uh, these dashed lines, which are attachment lines where you can put the pattern piece together. You've also got a scale for one inch or five centimeters, depending on what you're more familiar with. And you need to measure it and make absolutely sure that that is the right measurement before you get started. So print this page off first, check it and then print the rest. Um, the back has got a pink flower on, so you know, aha, that goes together. The front has got the white flower that you can see here, there, and I know all of this is my front. When you look at the assembly diagram, you can see exactly how it goes together. And for five to six, you can see we have got A, B, C, D and E. Of course, you have more pieces for the larger sizes and you've got less pieces for the smaller sizes. And this is why the assembly diagram is really important. You've got your A, you've got your B, we're just attaching them together and you see and bam it's almost together coffee cup on there to hold it in place and the last one is the d now there's another piece for this e the technique really is anything that goes horizontal goes together first and then it goes on anything that goes vertical and that way Ta-da! We've got our piece together, and that would be the back. We're going to have a quick look now at the pattern piece here for the Mimi. It's so, so simple this, but let's start with the beginning. This is my front piece here, and if you are putting in the beautiful side pockets, what you need to do is to cut out the curve first. Don't forget. You also don't want to throw away this piece because when you're cutting your front lining, you don't want to cut the curve. Lots of people have done it. I've been doing this pattern for lots of years. You want to be very careful there and you want to make sure that you put it back on when you cut your lining. So the front piece is cut on the fold in lining and in upper material. And the same goes for the back and the back really lies around beautifully here sits on top of that or the other way around i actually prefer it the other way around like that hang on let me just go down here it comes down further like this there we go i need to put this on so you've got the nice shoulder line here you work in your buttonhole obviously it doesn't have to be that size you can make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller or use poppers and it goes on that and it looks really really cool so that's the back 
on the fold and all in that. Let's just have a quick look at the pocket. First thing to do is to put uh, the facing on and you have uh, a lining and you've got a nice contrast and you sew it around the edge and then it gets placed on here so it fits beautifully and then you can take your facing that can be any fabric it's just lining sewn on and turn to the inside so that's part of the inner pocket now you can see it coming together right this really isn't difficult and then this part here the actual pocket is going to be cut in the upper material and it's just slotted underneath there and you can see now that is the beautiful pocket that we get and on the inside these will lie on top of each other and we can close the pocket all the way around and we've got a beautiful front piece right now if you don't want to put this pocket in what you can do is put the megan pocket on we've got a pattern piece for that here um, and if you do that of course don't forget to add this back in you don't want this to come off in fact it's quite a good idea to just use one little bit of sellotape here so that you can fold it back as you need it or fold it back out so as you can see there's just a few pattern pieces and I hope to see lots of the stuff that you do with it and we've got the little baby birds here so you've got that template in case you want to put that on when we come to cutting out it's really important that you fold your fabric so you get two folds on either side so the selvages face each other and then you can put on the front and the back piece on the fold and you also need the side pocket we need that twice obviously and in the same fabric as the shell so and then when we come to the lining fabric we are going to make sure that we shorten the pattern pieces by the amount that's indicated on the pattern it says cut here for lining and you can see the little arrow at the bottom so that's cut off and then we're cutting it without the half moon cut out you need the side pocket trim twice and the optional pocket trim as well now if you want to cut this optional pocket trim in just one fabric four times you can do that as well we need it four times alternatively if you want to set another contrast you just cut it again twice in a different contrast fabric and that's the one we then will see the videos you get with this are how to split the mimi pattern as a scallop it also shows you how to cut out the fabric on that one then we have the mimi how to split the pattern for color blocking and again you will be also shown how to cut the dress out the third one is then the step-by-step -step sewing instructions they're very detailed and they set off after the scallop or the color blocking has been inserted and as a little bonus you've got the mimi pinafore baby bird applique which is included in the old video i did years ago for this and you can also watch that if you like if you want to access all the links to the pattern and to the playlist then you just hover over the right top hand corner in the video click on the info button which then opens up all the links you click on those this one gets you straight to the website and if you scroll down you can see the tab video and you just click on that and all the videos are there then you've also got the written instructions which are this time full of lovely diagrams because I think that's a little bit easier if this maybe is your first time sewing then those instructions should really help you and make it very very clear and the videos are of course then in fabric as you can see how it's actually made so I hope you enjoy this let me know how you get on join our Facebook group link is also in the description bye for now and see you next time